thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. Thank you very much indeed for the invitation for this very important meeting. Uh, 36 years ago, on this day, the regime of the Shah was overthrown and Khomeini came to power. For Iranian people, it's both a happy day and a sad day because the regime of Khomeini has shown to be much worse than the Shah. We now have a religious dictatorship in Iran. The people in Iran, with such a long history, deserve much better than this. They do not deserve to be ruled by these mullahs. The mullahs in Iran have executed over 120,000 political prisoners, most of them from PMOI. It's a very ironic because the PMOI members who spent many years in prisons during the Shah were later arrested again by the regime of Khomeini and many of them were executed. In reality, Ayatollah Khomeini was a thief of this revolution. What we have today is an organized opposition which is under the leadership of Madame Mariam Rajavi, whom many of us have met in this parliament, in Strasbourg and in Brussels. Her particular platform and views are what we support, a secular and democratic Iran, right for women and ethnic minorities. These are very important, really important for us. As a Polish citizen, I understand what fascism can do. What we have in Iran is a religious fascism. We should not be fooled by this regime. Mullahs like Rouhani are not moderate. They are all part of the religious establishment. The Iranian people do not want this regime. But they are afraid because President Rouhani has executed more people than former President uh, Ahmadinejad. Many people who just used Facebook have been arrested in Iran. It's a really, uh, really disaster. Unbelievable. So we have a brutal dictatorship, and in this situation, appeasing these uh, mullahs, like what Mr. President Obama is doing, is not a solution. I can repeat, it's not a solution. Therefore, we should not make a bad deal on the nuclear issue. Uh, no deal is absolutely better, absolutely better than a, a bad deal. We have to make sure that this regime will not be able to make a nuclear bomb. Uh, finally, what, uh, what the main question is what is the solution? If we really want to have peace and stability in this, in this region, we must support a uh, regime change in Iran. I think, I'm sure that uh, uh, 36 years of mullahs is more than enough. The Atollahs had their chance. We should support Madame Rajavi and her movement. The people in Camp Liberty who used to be in Ashraf need our support. We should not disappoint them. They have been symbols of resistance uh, and are under many pressures in Iraq. We promise to defend their rights and the rights of the Iranian people. Let us work together for a free Iran. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thank you very much for your strong words.